All right, guys, let's go on to step two, which is learning how to add a teleportation area um, to our first little VR app using the Oculus Quest. Um, so to start teleporting around, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what we need to do is click on the XR rig right here, and um, there's a little button here that says Add Component. Click on that. And then we're going to add three components to this. When you do add component, you get a little search bar here. So in the search bar, start by typing loco, L-O-C-O, -O, and you should get locomotion system. Click on that. We're going to add another component. This one is called the snap turn provider, S-N-A-P, and we show up right there. Again, make sure you're adding these to the XR rig. One more component, click add component, and this one is the teleportation provider teleportation, and I see it right there, it's the third on this list. Okay, so three elements, locomotion system, snap turn provider, teleportation provider. There's a few things we need to modify in the parameters for these scripts. So the first thing is, um, in some of these there's a parameter that says none. So the way that we set these is click on the little bullseye to the right of the word none, and you get this little list of assets, and the only viable one is the XR rig. So click on XR rig, and then close that. There's another none here where it says locomotion system. Um, click on the little bullseye, XR rig. And there's one more here where it says locomotion system under the teleportation provider. Click the bullseye, XR rig. Okay, the snap turn provider is special. The way that the snap turn works is if you have your controller and you take the thumbstick and slide it left or right, you'll turn um, this many degrees, 45 degrees, to the right or left with the thumbstick. You can adjust this turn amount. If you don't want to turn a full 45 degrees, you can uh, tweak that up or down. So I'm going to leave it as 45. But the other thing that's really important to fix in here is the controllers. Next to controllers, there's a triangle. Expand it. And it says size. You're going to enter the number 2 in here because there's two controllers. And then element 0, and again it says none, and there's a bullseye. Click the bullseye, and you're going to pick the left-hand controller. And then close out of this. And then for element 1, guess what? Click the bullseye, right-hand controller. So that should be all you need to adjust for the XR rig. There's one more thing to do before we can teleport, and that's to add a teleportation area to the plane. So find your plane in this list, whatever's going to be the floor. I'm actually going to make the plane a little bigger, so I've got more room to teleport around. Um, so in the transform, there's a scale feature. Change X and Z to be a little bigger, maybe three times as big. X is three, Z is three, so it gives us more room to teleport. And then I'm going to move my webcam window out of the way, so you can see there's a button here that says Add Component before I click it. There's a mesh collider on this plane, and I'm going to click on Convex, and then click on Is Trigger. That's important for making the teleportation area work. Next, Add Component, and this one's going to be, I can type Teleport in the search box again, and I'm going to choose Teleportation Area. And um, let's just check and make sure all these boxes are filled. So this one has an XR Interaction Manager, looks good. We don't need a custom reticle. But for the teleportation provider, click on the bullseye and choose the XR rig. Okay, that should be all we need to do. Um, so we're going to save our project and test it. If this works, when you have your Oculus Quest connected with the Oculus Link and you put it on, you should see that your hands have red rays coming out of them when they're pointed at non-teleportable areas and then they turn into white rays when you're pointing at a place you can teleport. And you teleport by using the grip button right down here. So that's how you teleport place to place. I'll test it out and let you know how it works. Okay, turns out there was one more thing we had to change. Find your plane object that contains your teleportation area. I was wrong, you don't want the mesh collider activated. So find where it says mesh collider and you may have selected convex and is trigger uncheck those boxes. They should not be checked. If I click Run Now, I'll need to back up so I'm in my Guardian. Hold on. So now that I'm in the scene, I see red rays coming from my hands if I hold them and point them into the air. 
but as soon as I point them at the plane, I can see they turn into white rays. And then if I squeeze the grip, the grip is this little button that's like underneath your middle finger. If I squeeze the grip, then it teleports me to that area. And then I can use the thumbstick and turn it side to side, and that does the snap turns. So now I have a scene that has locomotion, um, and I also had hands. And so in the next video, I'll show you how to add components from Tilt Brush and SketchUp into your scene so that you can do a little virtual art exhibit.